so as you can see my windows 10 is completely default with the team with the icons and this boring desktop wallpaper so let's make this a little bit interesting so today i'm going to show you how to customize windows 10. i'm starting with this icon pack also for this you will need a 70sp application i have it already on my desktop after you download the nord icon pack extract the files from the winrar you can do that by 7zip or winrar here you need to rename this remove this and hit the enter click yes of course these are icons in icon format so you can use them later and now here's the tricky part so if you still have windows 10 up to the 1809 use only ipad if you have a windows 10 version higher than 1809 use only 70sp app and that's all what you need to know okay now i'm turning off my antivirus After that, I'm running the 70SP as administrator. Here in the extra, you have options. Choose the set to create a new restore point. Go to add a custom pack. Go to the Nord icon pack. Nord 70SP and choose the icon pack that we have renamed. Here's the preview. Now before I click start patching, I want to show you that I have a completely new default Windows 10 icons on my windows. So make sure you have default icons when you want to install a new custom icon pack. Start patching and now I will speed up this process. Here click yes to restart your PC. After restarting you should get the message the system has been patched, click OK. And you should get new custom icons. Now you can go to the control panel and set the view of the icons to large icons. Go to the file explorer option, go to the view tab and choose this. Always show icons in our thumbnails. This will make to every folder looks the same. I will delete this because I don't need it anymore. Now here I want to show you my version of the Windows 10. I want to make sure that you believe that I'm working on the latest version of the Windows. Now I'm going to download this theme. This theme is made in 2016 and of course it's not made to the my version 21H2 but somehow it's working. Here's the tutorial on how to patch the system or Windows to apply a custom theme. So here after you download the theme you can unzip or unpack the files with WinRAR or 7-zip. Here is a quick preview of the custom theme. And now choose this version if you have the most latest version of the Windows. So copy this, go to the Windows resources, go to the themes and paste it here. I have already these files so I will just overwrite it. Now go to the themes and choose this custom theme. And there we go, you have it. Now for the custom wallpaper, I will use this one. So one more time after downloading, you need to extract the files from the archive. You can use 7-zip or WinRAR. So now you can see that it's not fitting, so I'm gonna use this one. I will delete the files from my desktop. Now I'm going to the Windows Resources Teams and what I'm going to do now, I'm going to this theme 
that I already have it on my windows and I will copy all of the styles so copy copy all the files and type this in search bar hit the enter go one folder back go to the local folder scroll down to find start is back go to the styles and paste it here now if the start is back folder is not located here you can go to the program files or program file x86 to find this folder styles of the start is back plus plus now you can see that i have completely new styles to choose to change the start menu in the taskbar we have many of the styles that i have just pasted rounded and not rounded styles of the start menu so that's the most close start menu design that i found to fit with this theme this is only in your option if you want to change the start menu and the taskbar what i'm going to do now i'm going to change the custom start button i have one start button on my system so here i will copy this and i will paste it to the desktop here's the preview of this custom start button one more time go to the start is back properties and here go to this green little plus choose your desired start button in this case i have i have it on the desktop because i can't run system transparency to get the transparent effect i will use another app and that app is rounded that app is a little tweak for the taskbar in the windows you can find it on the windows store so here i i will type rounded and you can see what i'm getting with this app so you can play around with this app i really like it i'm using it a lot with the custom teams also you have option to run this on startup of the windows okay now for the last step is to change the cursor so I will go to the personalize on the left side go to the teams and here you have option mouse cursor and from this menu I'm gonna choose one of the custom cursors that I have everything what I show you in this tutorial will be in description below so you can download it and everything is for free so thank you for watching and see you next time bye